right, hey folks, we're down here at the San Diego Automotive Museum. We got Frankie, she's the ringleader of this Cadillac and Lincoln Continental display. How beautiful. I know, who would have thought? That's why everybody needs to come to the new, and I'm going to start calling it the new Automotive Museum. Yes, I agree. Because you guys have done such a phenomenal job inside the museum, not only to display cars, mm -hmm. but to tell a story. Yes, there's something for everyone in there, and we really want everyone to come and be a part of it. Everything from the library to the motorcycles. I think mm -hmm. you've got the second largest motorcycle display on the West Coast. We do. You've got cars there that nobody else has ever seen. Mm -hmm. you got Dan Gurney's uh, alligator motorcycle, which is super, super rare. Yes. And Evil Knievel's. Oh, yeah, you got Evil Knievel's toy there. You got Paul Newman and mm -hmm. Steve McQueen. All right, so I think we're going to go ahead out and talk to some Lincoln customers. Sounds good. All right, kiddo, good seeing you good again. Good seeing you. All right, hey, Jim, how you doing, buddy? Very good. The Lincoln and Continental Owners Club has all Lincolns in it from 1921 up to the current day. You've got a very eclectic group of uh, Lincolns, and especially a lot of 60s four-door suicide door cars that are so rare and so expensive They're nowadays. very popular right now. We hadn't been here for six years, and we had uh, some cars here at the museum back then, and at that time, the museum was a little bit shabby. Now that they've refurbished everything oh and God. renovated the place, I wanted everyone to see how gorgeous Isn't it beautiful? The, the plaza is and the, the mosaics above the entryway. It's great fun. It's great to be out again. What's your name? Brian Bernson. Okay, what do you got here? Uh, this is a 65 Lincoln Continental. Okay, so you're, you're the only 65. I've had a 63 and a 66. So, and you, was this, how long have you had her? Uh, since 1995, so a long time now. Was it a car that you were looking for when you purchased it, or did it yeah. one of those things where it just happened? You know, I was looking for a big old car to throw my bike in the back seat, and this was a beat up old car, and I used to use it kind of as my truck for a long time no before kidding. I started restoring it. Yeah. Kind of like the Woody community where they would go surfing and they'd throw their boards in the back. In the back. Dang, yeah. yeah. Then they won those vehicles, they ended up going over $100,000. Okay, maybe we shouldn't Time. put the boards in the back. That's how I evolved on it, yeah. And just started restoring it and put a new interior in it and then no more bikes in the back seat. And it's been to Boston and back from St. Louis. I've really? driven it all over the country, yeah. Well, that's what a lot of people don't realize. Even though it's a classic and even though it's from the 60s, that doesn't mean it won't go from point A to point B. Right, right. Yeah, and this is a great cruiser. They're fun to drive, and I figure if I can't drive it, I, I don't want it. So yeah. that's the way to. Yeah, what, why would you? Why would you just want a big hunk of iron sitting in your front yard? Right. I don't have a museum in my garage. Everything in there gets driven. <laughs> Does it get parked? Did you get it in the garage? Just barely. I kind of have to kiss the front wall, and the garage door almost scrapes the back. <laughs> but that's the nature of these cars. Well, they weren't building them like that back in the day. Right. Exactly. Yeah. But, but it fits. Once it's in there, it, you can't really walk around it. But that's okay. What's the color? This is moss green. It's the original color. Um, it's had at least one repaint. Okay. One since I've owned it anyway. Yeah, well, good that it looks as good as it does because to repaint it today, I know, it's you got to hawk your house. Uh, yeah, the cost of painting a car has really Isn't gone that up. Isn't ridiculous? Yeah. So, how many miles you got on it? 72,000. That's great. Yeah. 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 So, like, did you do anything to the engine? No, I, it's uh, the engine's all original. I take that back. I guess it's had a uh, valve job, but that's okay. It. Yeah, well, yeah. that's because of the fuel, right? That right. We have out Put here. in hardened valves. Yeah, and, uh, exactly. Well, I'll tell you what, man. You got a sweetheart there. Thanks very much. All nice right. talking to you. Thank you. you. Enjoy the museum. And your name? Terry. How you doing, Cockrell. Terry? And what's your name? Nancy. Nancy. 1966. 1962. 62. That's even yes. rarer than most. And did you? How long have you had it? Since '83. I bought it, it was, it was a wrecked car, it was a vehicle junk, no. the convertible, and then I t combined this car with three sedans to put this on the road. So it's been on the road for almost 40 years now. Has it really? Yeah. And did you realize that it was going to increase in value as much as it has? Mm, that wasn't a concern at all. No, never. I, I like the cars. Well, that, yeah, that's so. me too. Yeah. How much do you like it? I love it. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. You ride in the back seat or the front seat? <laughs> Come Sometimes on. the trunk. You no. should just sit in the back and give there it the old hand wave. wave. Yeah. Exactly. Wave. No, it's. Does he ever let you drive it? Yes, but I don't want to. It's too big. Ah, uh, yes. It's like driving a boat. 
Yeah. I mean, parallel. Can you parallel park this thing? Oh, yes. I knew you could. Yes. Isn't that funny? But that's what I excelled in, in when I was in high school. Uh -huh. I could parallel park anything. Couldn't do anything else, but I could parallel park. Yeah. Well, but they eliminated it, you know, because it's too difficult for kids today. Yeah. That's not on the test anymore. Yeah. How many miles you got on it? Unknown. Uh, it's o over 200,000. Yeah. Right? It's got, this is like its third engine, its second right. transmission, right. its uh, a second rear end. Uh, it's beautiful, though. You got any other ones or just this one? Uh, just this one. This just this Lincoln. This is enough, right? This will keep yeah. you busy. Yes. <laughs> All right. Yes. Well, you've got an absolutely stunning car. Hopefully, you never sell it. But if you do, it'll, it'll it's just serious money in the bank. I hope. Even with yeah. the with the provenance that comes with it, even though it's not, yes. you know, it's kind of a, I won't say a kit car, but it's taken a multiple cars to make it, but, uh, but everything's Lincoln. The title is Salvage. The title is Salvage. Is it still Salvage? Yes. Yeah, but no Forever. One will, yeah, but no one will ever know to look at it. Uh -huh. You'll still get the money for it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Who's got the baby blue? Come on over here, bud. Whoa. And your name is? Tony Mondini. Wow. What year is this one? Uh, 66. Okay, well, I messed up. I said that was a 66, and it turned out to be a 62, and I'm thinking this 63. might... 63. Or 63. Yeah. So how long have you had her? Uh, it'll be eight years in October. Was it a car you were looking for specifically? Uh, I was just looking for another Lincoln convertible. Okay. I'd had one before the same year. And you let it get away. I did. Don't you hate that? I do. <laughs> I wish I still kept it. I know, yeah. but, you know, we all make those silly mistakes, yeah. and sometimes yeah. it's something as simple as a belt breaks. That's it. I'm I done just with couldn't... it find a place big enough to park it. Well, that's, that's what is it, 22, 23 feet? 18 and feet? a half feet. Only 18? Yeah. Only, only 18? Only, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the suicide door cars, oh my goodness, they have increased in value like crazy. These have been my favorite cars since I was a kid, since they were new. You and me both, <laughs> yeah, you know, and so. I'm older than you, but I can appreciate <laughs> what you're saying. And the interesting thing about these cars is that they're doing nothing but increasing in value. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed that that keeps happening. Yeah, but you know, you it's don't, up and down. But you don't look like a person that's going to sell this thing anytime soon. I'm probably going to keep it forever. Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of what I and thought. I'm too. hoping it'll wind up here in one the museum. Day. Yeah, I'll probably give it to them. It's close enough, and it's beautiful enough, and it's clean enough. What, do you know what the name of the color is on this? Particular? Powder blue. Simple. Nothing like some of these crazy names are coming out with nowadays. This car is completely blue. Even the convertible top is blue. Is it really, man? I tell you, that it's it's a sweetheart. Yeah, I'm I'm in the same boat that you're in right now, boy. <laughs> I tell you, and I'm torn between Cadillacs and Lincolns. And you should get one of both. I I did. I let two <laughs> caddies go, and I'm kicking myself to this day. Wow. Well, I tell you what, Tony, it's just a beautiful car. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thanks for coming to the museum. Have you been here recently? I also work here. Oh, well, there you go. Are you impressed with the way Lenny yes. and the team has turned this, this place around? I will say definitely. Because that sounds like you've been it's involved. It's like night with and day. The, you've been involved with the museum for probably a long time. Three years, not that long, but there are some guys that have been here since the museum opened. I have been a In follower. 1988. I've been a follower since 88, and it's had its ups and downs. But As man, any place but does. But man, is it on an upward swing now. We're on fire. We are on fire. <laughs> yeah. So folks, come down and check it out. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, buddy. Take Thank care. Thank you. Come here, Halsey. Yes, sir. How you doing? Good. What are you doing? Oh, you're going around waxing everybody's cars? Yeah, if they want it. <laughs> so what do you got here? A 1972 Lincoln Mark IV. Something you've been looking for ever since you were a little kid? No, uh, my parents owned it. Oh, wow. I was with them when they purchased the car. Brand new? The brand new, right out of the showroom floor. No kidding. I got the full story on this car. I'll so. bet you do. I mean, and I know you're never going to sell it, right? No, no, no. it's a family heirloom. Well, it's, it's a family, exactly. How many miles you got on it? Uh, 62. That's nothing. Yeah, that's that right. Is, is it a San Diego car? It is. That, what, what dealer did you buy it from? Uh, Frank Motors, National City. Ah, I used to work at Frank Motors. Oh, did you? Day. Maybe you sold them the car. Yeah, well, I was service. I was a service manager. I was. I tried to keep them all running. Right. You know, Frank sold them, and I made sure they stayed running. What? Uh, what? Do you know the name of the color on this one? Pastel lime. Lime. Pastel lime. I got the legend on that. The car. The chart. The Isn't that interesting? That it, it kind of is it. Almost look yellow, doesn't it? Or yeah. It Everybody said it's yellow. No, it's, I'm not going to argue with four. It's yeah. a pastel line. Who did the pinstriping? Uh, they did. That came with. See, that was back when people really cared about their cars. That's right. Absolutely. Yeah. How's she drive? Good. Oh, like a champ, like I brand know. new. I know. Yeah. She is an absolute sweetheart. Everything's original. Original paint. Never been in an accident. 
Oh. Knock on wood. Yeah, knock on wood. The engine's only been redone and the transmission. That's it, and new tires. Yeah. And of course, you put the really good tires on it so it really handles and goes down the road. Yeah. <laughs> I think they, they weren't radials back then, were they, or were they? Yeah, they were. They were they Michelin's. Were Michelin's, okay, yeah. Typical, Lincoln's not gonna fool around with a right. with a low grade tire. Absolutely. Buddy, you got a sweetheart here. Hang on to it. I will, I will. Thanks. Thank Is this yours? How are you? Fine. And hey, what's your name? Kay Durstein. Okay, this is- and This uh, is my husband, Dale. Come on, Dale, you can come over here too. She's way better looking than you, but that's okay. She should be in the picture, not me. Well, that's okay. We'll just leave you <laughs> as background. What, so we won't even talk to you anymore. Okay, fine. So what year is it? Um, 81. 71. I was going to say 71, but I wasn't going to say that. But it's a beautiful car. It Thank really, you. really is. Yeah. And it was kind of competing with Cadillac, you know, with the long body. Uh, didn't go crazy with fins. Lincoln never really did that. They kind of stayed a little bit more conservative. Classy. Yeah. But when this thing goes down the road, it puts a smile on your face. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Right. So, Jim, so how long have you had her? I've Not had her, it. the car. <laughs> I've had it for probably about five years. Okay. Was this a particular car you were looking for specifically? Or did it just hop into your I life? Went, I went with a friend one time when I, was a, when I was younger and the car was pretty new and uh, went for a ride in it at a dealership. And I was just so impressed with the ride, I thought, oh my gosh, someday I'm going to have to have one. Don't you love that someday? Yeah. So but at that least someday, you're smart. That someday came. And you got it and you're not selling it, right? It's not for sale. Good. Don't ever sell it. You know the color? I call it root beer, but I don't really think that's the technical name for it. I guess but, it's just brown, isn't it? Yeah, but I think root beer is is, is real because that's what I thought. I thought yeah, I, I thought the same thing. It absolutely. almost looks like a root beer float with the white top. That's right. Now I'm thirsty. Yeah, you and me both. <laughs> All right. Well, you guys, thanks for coming. Thank Has you. it been a while since you've been to the museum? Our first time. <gasps> Make sure you go inside. All right. It's very impressive. You're going to love it. Will do. Thank All you. All right. Thank you. How you doing, Don? Hi, I'm doing fine. How are you doing? What year? 1963. How long have you had her? Since 1973. I bought it when it was 10 years old during the Arab oil embargo. Ah, perfect time to buy it. Nobody wanted such a big gas guzzler, so I had to pay $850 for it. You did not. I did. $800 for this car? $850. Oh, excuse me, $850. <laughs> you know, you're the only uh, four-door hardtop here, I think. No kidding. Everybody else, you know, everybody's all into the convertibles. Oh, you're right. You're I right. like the hardtop myself. I think the hardtop is stylish and really, really stands out. I prefer this and I've had enough skin cancers that I don't want a convertible. This is comfortable and quiet, no not noisy on the yeah. freeway. And as solid as a rock. You, you arrive at your destination relaxed. Yeah, totally relaxed. The LSC is yes. just the bomb. I don't care what anybody says. It came out in what year? 84. Yeah, and was I it? think it blew everybody away in 84 because mm -hmm. Lincoln, because nobody was doing a body style like this. This is no, well, cop this... This is no copy of nothing. Yeah, well, the body size was reduced. Uh, right. The 60s and 70s were monsters. Well, let's see, this is a high performance version of yeah. the Mustang GT. Exactly. How you doing today, sir? I'm doing just great. I've got that shirt. You do? But I don't have that shirt. Oh. I'm working on that one. What, right. are, you, what are you driving? <laughs> I'm sorry? What are you driving? I got a 1993 60 Special Cadillac. Cadillac built the 60 Special Series from 1938 to 93. Yeah. I looked for this car for three years before I found it. And it's, uh, uh, was the previous owner was a little old lady from Pasadena. No, of that's course. not just a line, it's an actual fact. Well, that's, what, that's who drove these cars. Yeah. You know, you don't want to be detrimental, but little old ladies from Pasadena, this was a car of choice for them. That's right. Yeah. But you've had, what, one or two caddies? I've had 27 Cadillacs, and my pride and joy was a 1941 Cadillac four-door convertible. And you don't have it today? No, I had all the fun I needed with it. I had a, ground, a body off, ground up restoration. Really? Yeah. Right. And at the same time, I had a 67 Lincoln four-door convertible. And that was the last year that Lincoln built a four-door convertible. Right. Yeah. But my classic cars are like stepchildren. Uh, the owner of my 41 Cadillac is back in Illinois. So you still know him? Oh, we know him. We visit him. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Hold on a second. Let me talk to the boss. Do you get to drive? <laughs> 
No. <laughs> do you just no. ride in the passenger side? I just ride in the passenger side. No, I drive it once in a while. You like caddies? I love caddies. Yeah, I know, I do too. I got my shirt. What's your favorite year? My favorite year, 59. I know. With that big old wing? The big old wing. All right. Well, you guys have fun here at the uh, Automotive Museum. Go in and take a look when we're done. Yeah. Great. Thanks a lot. Good Thank talking, talking with you. you. So how you doing today? All right. What's your name? Ron Hardinger. I've got that shirt too. You do? I got over 200 shirts. Oh what, are you, what are you driving? Well, this is a 92 Cadillac Broham. Right. Yeah, one of the last ones that the Cadillac company made. Uh, they stopped making the Broham in 92. And yeah, I think so. so yeah. yeah, unfortunately, but it's really a great car. Yeah, I was going to say, talk about a cruiser. Oh my gosh, yep. you could take this thing to Vegas yep. and be as comfortable as can be. It's got yep. all, the, all the comfort creatures. Well, you know the old saying. What does it always say? It always it's got to ride like a Cadillac. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah, that was a that was a that was really a, a bonus because of the way Caddy's rode. Yeah, yeah. This one has the uh, 5.7 liter engine, mm. which is designed, I guess, for hauling trailers, etc. Uh -huh. That engine just says, "Is that all you got?" You know, when you're. <laughs> I you like know? to drive about 65, 70. I don't really push it, but yeah. that engine just says, "Let's get going." <laughs> and is there another gas station that I can stop and <laughs> yeah. visit? Because it, yeah. it is a little on the thirsty yeah, side. Right, that's true. But comfort, yeah, you know, especially nice. if you're in the back seat. Yeah. I yeah. mean, my it's goodness. It's got everything. Yeah. All the buttons and whistles are back there. Yeah. Yeah. And the and the leather interior and the comfort, the whole nine yards. Yeah. How long have you had her? Only about a year. Yeah. Oh, yeah. you just found yeah. it, yeah. huh? Yep, yep. I was itching for an older car, and I thought, I'd like to pick up a Cadillac. Why yeah. not? I had a few Cadillacs, uh, but uh, I, I wanted an older one. So, yeah. uh, uh, this one came uh, uh, on the market. And, uh, and you can still work on it, oh, actually. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's not like today's Cadillacs where you're like, oh. Yeah. Parts and pieces are readily available. All right. yeah. Ron, you've okay. got a sweetheart there. Don't let go of it. Yeah, thank all you. All right. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? How you doing, Dan? I'm doing all right. 1967 67. Cadillac. That's right. Yeah, I had a 69 and a 70. Okay. And like a doorknob, I sold them both. <laughs> uh, I inherited it about a year and a half ago. Really? From the yep. family? Yep, my dad's car, it was his pride and joy. He had it for about 12 years. And wow. uh, yeah. This is, so. they're so much fun to drive. Oh, they're great, yeah. And they haul freight once you get them rolling. They do, they yeah. do. Yeah. It's like it's like floating down the freeway. That's right. <laughs> and you get everybody waving at you, you get everybody taking your picture. Yep. Uh, they're apps, yeah, so yeah. Follow your dad's footsteps and don't sell this thing. Oh, absolutely not, yeah. absolutely you not. Take it to a lot of car shows. I'm just starting. Yeah. Yeah, because as soon well, as I got it. Well, they're all starting to come back again. That's right. As soon as I got it, COVID hit. So, uh, yeah. This is my uh, second opportunity so far this That's year. Right. So. Is this the only uh, uh, collector car you have? I have a 76 Buick Riviera Ooh. as well. So that's a cruiser. That's well, a at least you're keeping driver. it all in the GM family, oh, that's right? right. <laughs> that's right. And Todd, you got a 59 Cadillac, the ultimate Cadillacs. I don't think there's another Cadillac out there that says Cadillac like a 59. I think you're right. It's hard to find anything that gets as much attention, especially from the rear end as this one does. Well, and, and, and nobody understood. I mean, I, I think the designers just had so much fun with tail fins. I think as they were, you know, 57, they were getting a little bigger than 58. Oh, everything went away. Then 59, and they said, okay, we're back. Yeah. And how long have you had it? I've had this five years. Wow. Yeah, found it down in Texas. Did you really? Yeah, I didn't think I'd ever end up with one. I'd been looking. I've loved these things since I was a kid. Yeah, you and me both. And, uh, yeah, and um, uh, over the years, the prices dropped as they get, became old cars. Right. And then they started going back up as they became classics. And now, and now for goodness, they're now they're icons. Stupid so. prices. Yeah. I mean, you can retire off the price you can get this. Now, has this been restored or is it uh, original? You know, I've, I've had a lot done to the, um, to the car. But I will say the body of it was in excellent shape. I mean, it looked just like this when wow. I bought it, and it had all the had all the little pieces, the trim, the parts, and everything. It's so hard to find things that have that are complete. All right, tell me so about it. it was, and the color's unique, isn't it? Though it's what the Cadillac called Vegas turquoise uh, with the Dover white top. See, I don't, and I've, I'm a big Cadillac guy. I love caddies, but I don't think I've seen this color before. Well, you know, interestingly, um, Danbury Mint. I think Danbury is right. the one, put out a 1 24th scale right. uh, model, and it's identical to this. No. It's the turquoise, uh, Vegas turquoise with the white top. Surprise, it's not on your dash. Yeah, <laughs> well, no, it's in my closet at it's home. It's in your closet <laughs> at home. 
Uh, how many miles you got on it? Uh, just under 100. It's 96, 97,000. Yeah, but yeah. these things, as long as you maintain them, they will run and run and run and well, run. Well, I surely hope so. And yeah, she is yeah. an absolute beauty, my friend. Thank you. Yeah, whatever you do, don't sell it or I will hunt you down. Oh. Because it, because this is almost like money in the bank, really, when you come right down to it. It's better than the stock market. Well, it's also money in somebody else's bank, too. These things eat up money cons. I mean, there's always something that needs to be done. Oh, come on. It isn't that bad. <laughs> Oh well, look, here comes your competition. Oh, okay. Front wheel drive. And that's a beautiful that's Eldorado. A beautiful. I love those. I don't care. It's not as beautiful as yours. I'm just going to tell you that straight up. How you doing, Tom? Good. It's a beaut. Let me tell you, how long have you had her? Two days. Two, Two days. Two days. 1971. One. Yes. Oh, the, the first front wheel drive after the 19... Well, 6970 had their own their own yeah. little look. This is the first year of this body style. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. And driving here, it just turned 50,000 no. original miles. Where'd you I find her? A guy in our club, the Cadillac LaSalle Club. Yeah. Uh, had it about two years. He bought it out of Texas. Yeah. And he's starting a new project. He's He bought a 57 uh, Cadillac convertible. And, needs the money. Uh, can't do two projects at once. It's just, you know, just too much going on. God, you've died and gone to hell. Original paint on about 80% of the car, the hood, this whole side. You remember what color it is? What they call it? Oh, I knew I was going to. Fire Miss Blue or something yeah. like that. I don't know exactly. Gosh, she is yeah. beautiful. You have really got a gem here. Yeah. Let me tell you. And I bet it drives like a dream. It, it drives really nice. A little bit of wind noise. Well, yeah. Yeah, but, that's... you know. But yeah, yeah, it's just, that, it just it is what it is. It is what it is, yeah. exactly. Uh, but man, oh man, I think you've got yourself a gem here, my friend. Want to see it under the hood, Dave? Sure, pop the hood. We haven't got anybody to pop the hood on any of these. And the hood itself weighs 5,000 pounds. Yeah, well, I might need a couple of these strong arm guys <laughs> to help me. Let's see. Let's see. You got it? I do have it. There we go. Uh, 472 or 500? 500 cubic inches. All right. 400 and something horsepower. 435, yeah. a crazy number. Oh, I know. And it loves gas stations. Uh, you know, not really that bad, believe it or not. The guy had kept notes on it, and it was uh, 15, 16, uh, 17 miles per gallon. That's not bad. That's In those days, bad. that was... That was doable. That was good. Yeah, no, no, yeah. that was good. Yeah. No, she's in, she's in really, really, really good shape. Yeah. 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 Yeah, um, oh, and, you, uh, you know, he spent a lot of money on it. He's a, um, a Cadillac enthusiast. Yeah, yeah, which, you he know. He put the right tires on it. He spent $1,200 on tires this year. No kidding. Yeah. You know, to put the radials with that dual stripe Sure, and sure, 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 sure. No, it's, it's a sweetheart. Yeah. And it's an Eldorado. You can't get any better than that. I don't no. know. We're not going to compare it to that, though. Well, no. You no, can't. That's an icon. You can't. Yeah. You really can't. In the whole history of automobiles, that's in the that's, top ten. That's it. Yeah. Well, when you think Cadillac, that's what you think. Yeah. You know, yeah. no matter what you say, that's yeah. what you think of '59. It's sort of in the same league as like a Jaguar E-Type. Exactly. It, you hit it right on the head. Yeah. You hit it right yeah. on the head. The automotive arc. Exactly. Tom, yeah. I'm going to go cruise up the line. Thank you very much. You bet. Love seeing this car. It's oh. beautiful. Well, Frankie, this has been a wonderful day with the Lincolns and Cadillacs. It was a lot of fun. What's coming up next? You had, you have any idea yet? The BMW Club. Oh, mm -hmm. BMW. They're on the calendar for July, and we want more and more. So. Yeah. And how do they get a hold of you to, to get on the list? Email me okay. at Frankie at sdautomuseum.org. How hard is that? <laughs> and you know, it's funny. Every time everybody comes down here, not only do they get to show the cars off, but the general public. Have you noticed how much right. they've been hanging around all these cars? Yes. Everyone has fun. There's so many great cars to see, and it's really an event for everyone. Well, and that's another thing, too. People really need to take time out of their weekend or during the week and come to the museum. And people can go to the website, which is? www.sdautomuseum.org. All right, and folks, you can come to the museum, what, six days a week? Six days a week. That's cruising right here at the San Diego Automotive Museum. BMW is coming up next. Make sure you go to the website. Actually, on YouTube is the best place to go. Like and share, and we will see you down the road.